done it again. Welcome to what seems like my weekly financial mistake. I mean, I, I just don't seem to be able to learn. Anyway, let's get into it then. So this is my uh, 2003 Triumph Sprint ST 955i. I bought the bike in May 15, I think, um, and I hadn't had a bike for quite a long time. So I thought, yep, I'm going to get back into it. I uh, need to be back on two wheels. Let's do it. Looked around, found that, thought, yep, it ticks all the boxes. It's reasonable amount of power, um, reasonable performance, and it's not a sports bike by any stretch. But uh, it, it was good for, ideally, for touring. Um, and that's what I wanted to use it for. So I bought it and I was very pleased with it, but it hurt me, and it badly hurt me. Um, it, it used to get me right inside the uh, thumb and in my wrists. Uh, everybody said, well, you, you, you haven't been on a bike in like 10 years or something stupid, so give it time. I gave it a year and it just didn't get any better. So I decided it was time, it, it had to go. There was, there was just no point in me suffering it. Uh, so I actually did a part exchange deal with a Triumph dealer. And um, at that time, I mean, between doing the deal and picking up the new one, um, my brother-in-law it, it was in the market for a bike. So he bought the Sprint 955 from me for whatever nominal sum um, Triumph were going to give me for it and uh, and I got on the 1050 Sprint ST um, which was just a world apart uh, absolutely no pain from riding it at all um, I, I rode it all the way down to Spain with no issues well no issues from a comfort point of view I mean I had a couple of punctures and that's just par for the course for me so anyway that that was fine and uh, so Carl's had the 955 since May 16 and he got in touch with me a little while ago and said, do you want it back? Now, I should have said no. I mean, you know, nobody gives a bike away. And for some reason, I went, oh yeah, I want that. Of course I do. You know, that thing that used to hurt me to ride it and and now it's coming back to me <sighs> clearly I, I just don't learn I can't learn and I have this thing about trying to save them so I got it back Carl's idea was that um, perhaps I would use it for spares uh, and that was one of his questions you know can, can you use it for spares at all well not really mate I'm riding a BMW these days and Pretty sure most of those parts aren't interchangeable in any, any way. So uh, anyway, he brought it back. His plan is to buy a brand new bike this year, treat himself, have a new one. Um, and he said, I'm a bit too embarrassed to part exchange this. It's in a bit of a bad way. Now, well, we'll, we'll come outside and we'll have a look shortly, but um, you'll see what's happened. This thing's had a life in London, and um, w whatever your feelings are on being in London, um, I I'm not a fan personally. It's about, uh, London's about 30 miles from here um, to drive, and a lot less as the crow flies. And no matter how you feel about it, it takes its toll on vehicles. I, I don't know why the city just wrecks vehicles so badly but it does and you know I mean I, I've got to a point in my life now where I've decided that I will no longer go inside the M25 for a used vehicle I'm just not going to do it um, there have been so many times when something's looked so good and I've driven up there and you can get to the M25 in about 25 minutes from here and then you get inside and time just stops you know, nothing moves. Um, well, sadly, time doesn't stop. But you, you drive for about an hour, 
cover six miles for argument's sake and you get there and think that's a wreck get in the car an hour later you're back at the m25 and then you're on your way home and i'm just not doing it anymore i can't get that part of my life back so carl's lived in uh, east dulwich so off the south circular it's inside uh, but he very kindly delivered it to me um, and went home on the train so great thank you um, you know he, even though the bike's in a bit of a bad way it was still a lovely gesture he gave me a motorcycle um, and and that's a nice thing it's a nice thing to do no matter how you feel about it um, you know he he really liked it uh, although he's not keen on let's say looking after them cosmetically would be a fair way to, to put it so it's been living outside for five years somewhere around that it's uh, had things stolen from it um, not too sure but I think the bike itself was stolen and you know some little scumbag youths helped themselves to it um, abandoned it in some garages at a stupid hour of the morning I think I'm not even sure if it had actually stopped when they abandoned it whether they just stepped off it and ran away who knows um, but now I'm in this weird position where I've got this bike that I don't necessarily need and I can't really ride it any distance because I'm assuming that even five years later it's still going to hurt me so what am I going to do with it I've done it again I've got another vehicle and no plan well I've got a couple of ideas and um, well we'll go through it but um, for the moment let's um, let's go outside I'll take you around it, talk you through some of the bits and pieces, and um, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll just try and make some kind of plan about what on earth I'm going to do with this thing over time. And uh, you know, if you've got comments and ideas on what you what you think should happen with it, then by all means throw them out there. Um, if I don't like them, I'm just simply not going to do them. That's it. Uh, if I do like them and they're too expensive, I ain't doing it, but we'll see. There, there'll be something. Whatever happens, it's not going to stay looking like this. Something's going to happen with it. Something good is going to happen with it. And I, I guess, you know, I've, I've got to a point in my life where I haven't got... Oh, hang on. Um, I need to choose my words really carefully on this because I, I don't want this to be a gloat or a showing off uh, or bragging or anything like that because I'm not about that, I'm really not. Um, but I've got to a point in my life, I guess, where we're, we're not rich, um, but we're comfortable. Things are pretty good. And, you know, I don't need to turn a profit on this bike, I guess is the point. I'm not doing this for monetary gain. Um, I am trying to save an old machine from basically just going for scrap. I, I don't know why. I have this thing about the cars and the bikes that means that I have to just keep trying to save them. I don't fully understand why, but it's what I do. Uh, and I enjoy it. So, you know, for me, it's a, it's a bit of fun. But... So I, I've got to this point where I say I'm, I'm not looking to make money out of this. That's that's not why I'm doing it, and I need to make that clear. I'm looking to do something fun. I'm looking to do something good, and I do believe in paying it forward. So that's that bike was given to me. Okay, I sold it to him. He's had five years use out of it. Brilliant, and. Yeah, it's not really worth anything. But he didn't have to give it to me, and he didn't have to 
ride it from London to Maidstone. And he, you know, and then go back home on a train, regardless of the fact that we're family and all that. Um, he could have just as easily ridden it to a bike shop, got, I don't know, 100 quid maybe, off his new bike, and ridden away on it. And it would have been easier for him. So he's done something nice for me. I need to do something nice with this. And I, at the moment, I don't know. I, I have no concept of what that might be um, because I've got no real plan, as I've said. As it stands, I've got a free bike and an opportunity to do something with it. If I spend a bit of money, I'm going to have to spend money on it. If I spend a bit of money, it's, it's going to have to happen. Um, and then if I sell it to somebody for what it owes me, but it gives them a way to get back on two wheels when, you know, let's be honest, these are a luxury item for a lot of people. Um, and there, there are a lot of people that just don't have that opportunity. You know, if it's, it's probably not actually a starter bike for somebody, um, but it might be, who knows? You might be doing your direct access and I don't know, maybe it owes me, like, I don't know, argumentatively, or, or uh, for the sake of argument rather, 500 pounds, right? So, and I say to you, okay, great. Um, you've got your direct access, you've done that, you've, you've spent a fortune getting that. Here you go, this owes me 500 pounds, enjoy. If you drop it, if you break it, it's 500 quid bike, actually it doesn't matter. I don't know, I'm just picking numbers out of the air because honestly, I just don't know what it's going to cost me to do. Um, but hey, that's, you know, that's part of the fun, isn't it? And that's part of the adventure. Um, at some point, um, I'll do some other videos as well um, on um, specifically uh, Project Truro, which was our viral advert Volvo V70 with 384,000 miles on the clock. Uh, that myself and my friend Trevor rescued um, and along with uh, so much help from an amazing Frank Barry um, mechanical well oh, just mechanical genius really um, we got that thing back on the road and, and that video at some point will be coming but that car lives in Cornwall we're in Kent actually being able to meet up is not that easy so at some point that will come out um, also, a fortnight ago, I bought a Mercedes ML 320, or was it three weeks ago? I don't know, it's a blur. Um, that is being dubbed financial mistake. A whole nother story for another time, but there will be a video on that. And actually, to me, it's an interesting car and it was a great little rescue. Um, yeah, there'll, there'll be more. Definitely there'll be more coming. But for the moment, um, let's get you outside. We'll go out and have a look at the um, the sprint, and uh, well, I'll show you what I'm starting to work with. Let's get out and walk through it. Let's have a walk round. We can see obviously the fairings are missing. Uh, pro tip: if you're intending to disguise the identity of a bike, just claw the stickers off with something. That'll work. Uh, the seat split primer is good that gets rid of stickers different colored primer nice touch down the middle like a racing stripe there the uh, indicator looks well broken that's at it more damage the seat used to fit better than that and, and also there was a grab rail that went with it and in fact it had the proper triumph rack on it. This duct tape is a nice repair, inconspicuous silver. Good job. Very sticky as well, gets all over your trousers. Ruins dining room chairs. Ask me how I know. This gear selector had far too much play in it anyway. That bit of bend on it there takes out the, adds a bit of friction to it. This bracket, you don't want to snag your leg on that, bend it round. 
was it should stick out further, but then, you know, it had fairing attached to it at that time. It's just, it's a disappointment. Now, why, why are the handlebar grips different? Like, who buys one grip? Also, it's too short, it twists throttles on the left on this bike Ugh, fair enough it can be fixed uh, schoolboy error there though they left the other sticker on people are going to know what it is now well yep those bits don't fit anymore Good news though, an almost new Michelin Pilot Road 2, I think that is. No real wear on the brake discs, there's no lip on them. The bike's only done 29,000 now, so not a huge amount of mileage. These look beautiful. Can't see how much wear there is on the pads, we'll have to strip all that off and investigate. Chain and sprockets look like they're not, or maybe not that old. There's no real wear on them. Chain's a bit rusty though. I'm going to have to work through that and see if we've got any seized links in there. This looks like rust overspray or spatter from the chain. The end can is good. It's been down on that side. There is some damage, but it's not too bad. It'll probably clean up okay. And an almost brand new, I think this is the Pilot Road 5. It doesn't appear to have ever been round a corner though. I guess that's London or whatever. Maybe some creatures are living in here. Don't know. We'll investigate. Oh, more creatures. bit grubby around the front of the engine. I'm wondering whether or not we've got a marginal oil weep from the uh, perhaps from the rocker cover gasket. I'll have to have a look into that as well. This brake lever's got such a beautiful curve on it. That allows more travel when you're really reaching for it. But I'm concerned. That shouldn't move that far surely. And if we I mean that's locked out as far as that lever will go. I reckon if we wind it back here to number four, if that's a bit stiff, but there we go. Can we get that to hit the bar? Yes. That's terrifying. That will need looking at as well. Put that back on number one and pretend we didn't see it. The surface rust on the forks. Nothing too major. Don't know. Let's have a look at the brakes on this side. Again, grim, grubby serviceable probably we see the fork seals on this that one appears to be okay again thorough investigation it's got an MOT on it but I'm not going to ride it got to do something with this <laughs> plus of course it will still hurt me if I ride it I'm assuming so I'd rather forego that Let's um, see if I can run it up. I've got these keys and, I, you know, it had one key that fitted everything. Now it has three. Ah, third time's a charm. What have we got? Yeah, 29,500 miles. Well, we'll see if we can bring it back to something. don't think I'm going to be able to start this one-handed. Um, no, let's give up. Let's have a look in here. Fuel tank. How bad is this? Ooh! She's full. Hmm. Probably full of water, but it's full. I wonder if I can get the seat off one-handed. Is this the key for it? No, of course not. Try this long one and see what this is. Oh, excellent. That's it. Let's 
see the toolkit's missing. Oh dear, what's going on? Where's the battery clamp? I know it's only a rubber strap, but where is it? There's no no cover on this positive terminal either. Good job the tank's plastic, I guess, otherwise we'd have a bit of a fire going on there. What else have we got? Relay rubber broken, fair enough. OBD port, mm, still there. And what, what's happened to the bolts for the seat? Fine, I'll fix it. Well, let's see if we can run it up and see how she sounds. It's time to hit it with some degreaser and see if we can make it look reasonable. Back soon. Doesn't that look better for a clean? Everything looks better when it's cleaner, I think. Uh, well, I think I'm starting to get a few ideas now about just how it's going to go. Um, probably not going to go for getting all the plastics and trying to restore it as a Sprint ST. It's just not financially viable, I don't think. Um, however, you know, most of these sort of fully fared bikes, when they've been in uh, an accident or, you know, had, had parts stolen as this one has, um, they tend to go a specific direction and that's usually the Street Fighter. 
and I think that's probably where we're going to end up with this one too. Um, I've never built one, I've never done one, uh, but I quite like them. I'm, I'm into naked bikes, I ride an R1200R Sport um, anyway, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to be better, especially if I can bring the handlebars up a bit, and then that will take that pressure off my wrists. Um, and you know, you never know, I might really like this bike when it's done. <laughs> that would be interesting. But anyway, look, um, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, like I say, I don't do this to make money out of it. I'm not interested in any kind of adverts. If you like it, great. If you dislike it, fine. You know, that's fine. If you've stayed this long, um, something must have got your attention. Uh, but uh, the the likes, the subscription, that doesn't really affect me. If you're interested and you want to do that, great. If not, no hard feelings. I'm, I'm, so I'm simply not out to monetize this. So um, anyway, I'll do some updates um, as and when I know what the direction is going to be, um, or when I've found a bit of time to actually do some work on the bike. Um, yeah, we'll we'll get some more content up. If you like it, follow along. And um, hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Take care.